The number one reason you are not able to make your habits stick is that you have unrealistic expectations. And this system is the perfect solution to that. You just have to Every once in a while you have a day where you wake up and decide to start a new habit. The first few days are great. You are motivated, you are regular, you don't even think twice before going all in. You have started building a streak on the habit tracker app and you're pretty proud of yourself. This is something called the shiny new thing syndrome. But shiny new things jitne shiny hote hain utni hi jaldi apna shine kho dete hain. The monotony creeps in, you're burning out. Maybe you fall sick, then you miss a day, then two, then three. After that, it's very easy to fall into the cycle of guilt and self-victimization. But what you don't realize is that this is a very normal thing. We expect our habits to act like this when in reality it is something like this. On an average, it will get better, but you have to account for the days where you aren't doing so well. So having a yes or no system that most habit trackers do just doesn't work. Instead, a better approach is to define levels for every single habit that you're trying to build. We start with the ideal level. This is the ideal intensity of the habit in the most ideal situation. You're having a normal day, you got a good night's sleep, you have enough time to give to this habit. For example, working out for 1 hour a day, waking up before 7 a.m. It can also be a range, for example, running anywhere between 5 to 10 kilometers a day. Up on top, we have the beyond level. This is for days where you can go even beyond the ideal level. Instead of 7 you woke up at 5, instead of 10k steps you got in 15k steps. And at the very bottom we have the show up version for the days where you're just not feeling it. This is the bare minimum that you can do in your habit. It can literally be as little as reading one paragraph or even one line of a book or doing 10 push-ups if you're not able to work out for one whole hour. It might not seem like a lot but the idea is to keep the habit alive even on your low days. The number one reason you are not able to make your habits stick is that you have unrealistic expectations. And this system is the perfect solution to that. You just have to be flexible. Initially when you're starting a new habit, you will toggle between level 1 and level 2. Eventually you will start to become consistent in level 2 with level 1 and 3 creeping in once in a while. The system that we are using here is a combination of multiple systems. I will link all the relevant sources in the description. The best part is it is pretty easy to track this system in the analog as well as the digital format. If you're using an analog habit tracker, you can have different symbols or colors for different levels. But this can get a little tricky because what if you read one page of a book and mark that color as show up? but in the evening you have read 10 pages and now you have to change that symbol to the ideal level so instead of using colors daily atomic steps the original creator of the system recommends using a cross for level 1 a dot under it for level 2 and another dot for level 3 you can also assign scores to the levels and calculate your average score for that habit at the end of the week for me personally i prefer to use a digital habit tracker but since no other app follows this exact system I have made my own habit tracker in Notion which is of course linked below. There are three variations: Coz, Aurora, and Van Gogh. The basic concept remains the same. For every habit there can be different levels of completing it and the progress bar gets updated accordingly. Since I started using this system my average habit completion rate has gone up significantly. I don't feel pressurized to be perfect all the time. I can literally just show up to the gym and walk on the treadmill or the elliptical for 10 minutes and even that counts. On the busy days or the low days, I don't have to be part of the toxic hustle culture and push myself when my body genuinely needs to take it slow. And with only a few months left for the year to end, it is time for the final stretch. At this time our systems can make or break us. And here is another system that I'm implementing to ensure that I end this year on a banger note. 